And a warning, some viewers may find the content offensive. George Gregan is known around the world as the most capped wallaby and its longest serving captain. His reputation made him an obvious choice as ambassador for fitness products. Whatever your age or fitness level, the PowerTube Pro offers a total fitness solution. But a different side to the sportsman has emerged via court documents exclusively obtained by Sky News. When we strike, it's going to be an avalanche, a.k.a. Blitzkrieg. Nose and ears bleeding, and he won't be able to stand up because he'll have no legs. He took on some bad asses. The graphic threat was issued in text messages sent to his business partner, Matthew Dixon, a former New South Wales Waratahs player. Its target, the Jewish businessman and founder of their fitness product business, Alexander Goldberg. My mother's maiden name translates to kill first, ask questions later. This time has arrived. We will drop the guillotine and hammer very soon to rid ourselves of this parasite. I've got a war chest for this cockroach. Jewish community leader Devir Abramovich says the use of Nazi imagery is unacceptable. It is un-Australian, uh, it is offensive and it should be rejected outright. Dr Abramovich says the terms cockroach and parasite have a long history of anti-Semitism and vilifying Jews. Hitler, in his book Mein Kampf, called the Jews parasites. The Nazis, who did not see the Jews as human and not worthy of life and, and dignity, often labeled the Jews as subhuman and as cockroaches. These kinds of terms are hateful, uh, they're racist, and they should never be used in any context. QC Robert Stitt, representing Mr Goldberg, said the messages... Disclose that the campaign of oppression is manifest, it's malicious, and it's highly personal, and it's directed against Mr Goldberg personally. George Gregan and Matthew Dixon are accused of hatching a plan to oust Mr Goldberg from PTP Fitness, the multi-million dollar business he began out of his apartment in 2010. In 2019, Mr Goldberg's employment was terminated, he claims wrongfully. Mr Gregan and Mr Dixon are defending the allegations and have launched their own lawsuit, claiming Mr Goldberg had breached his directorial duties. This ugly case dates back to 2019 and involves a complicated series of claims and cross-claims, but the parties are finally due to face off when the trial is heard here in the federal court in Sydney next month. When contacted by Sky News, Mr Gregan declined to comment on the messages while the case is before the courts. I put my faith in our legal system to make a fair judgment. Caroline Marcus, Sky News.